Hitze, Hitze, Hup! Hitze, Prise, Out! All rise for the pledge. Major Boardman will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Detail! Outer! Out! Detail! On! Coat! Detail! Added! If I could have Pastor Leroy Fitz please come up for the invocation. All wise and eternal God, our Father, we invoke your presence here with us. We recognize that you are sovereign of the universe and we pause here to give you the honor. We also pause here, O oh God, to um, recognize our law enforcement officers who are um, dedicated to serve this county, to bring about peace and goodwill among the citizens of this county. Bless, O oh God, our law enforcement officers and all of our citizens assembled here. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Pastor Fitz is one of our chaplains with the Office of the Sheriff. At this time, I'd like to turn over the inspection um, of the Governor's Commissioner remarks to the Honorable Catherine Hager and the Honorable Lance Richardson. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. My name is Catherine Hager. I'm the clerk of the Circuit Court for Queen Anne's County. I'm not used to sitting up here on the bench, so this is quite an honor to sit here tonight with the Honorable oh. Lance Richardson. I have the honor tonight to read the commission, so I will read it now. To Gary Hoffman of Centerville, Maryland, greeting be it known that the people of Queen Anne's County reposing great trust and confidence in your integrity and wisdom did on the 8th day of November 2022 elect you as sheriff you are therefore to execute the said office justly, honestly, diligently, and faithfully according to law and hold the same for the term of four years from November 8, 2022 or until you shall be duly discharged therefrom. Given under my hand in the Great Seal of Maryland, Lawrence J. Hogan, Jr., <coughs> Governor of the State of Maryland, at the city of Annapolis on the 5th day of December in the year of our Lord, 2022. I'll present the commission to the Richardson, our state's attorney. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I just have a, just a few remarks. If it, Absolutely. If I, if I yes, ma'am. I, I, I do not have anything written down, but I just want to say what an impressive group of fine folks here. 
Um, but thank you, citizens of Queens County. Thank you all for choosing this career of law enforcement and for your continued public trust and confidence that you continue to do every single day that you're out there. From our school resource officers, who are, we greatly appreciate you in our school systems, our patrol, our um, detectives, our court security, um, we appreciate you and the administration. So thank you for what you do each and every day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Honorable Ann Richardson. I think I'll use the microphone. I have two pages here, but the sheriff told me I had two minutes tonight. So this is really big font, but I wore my glasses so I could see it. And I'm going to set the timer because I don't. He told me two minutes, and that's it. So first and foremost, congratulations to the men and women of the Office of the Sheriff of Queen Anne's County. It's a thankless job, but I appreciate you for your service. You are the peacekeepers. So it's kind of interesting. I am now the longest serving state's attorney on the Eastern Shore. I'm about to start my fourth term. And I have to say, I've seen a lot of changes in the last 20 years. And many of them are not positive. This country that I love, the United States of America, the part I really miss these days is the united aspect. There's been a lot of vilifying of police in recent years. And in some jurisdictions, I can truly say, there is an antagonistic relationship between police and prosecutors. That is not the case in Queen Anne's County. My office has a total of five prosecutors, counting me, for a county of 50,000 people. So you break that down, that's one prosecutor per 10,000 people. And we only need five prosecutors because our citizens are law-abiding and good people. And the majority of people we prosecute are not from Queen Anne's County. They're just passing through. In Baltimore City, they have about one prosecutor per thousand people. And I can say we get a whole lot more done here, largely because of the work that you all do, the great cases that you bring us, and we appreciate that. So there's me in my office and four female prosecutors. It just so happens that two of the four female prosecutors in my office are married to deputies in this department. So when I say there's a lot of love for, for the deputies within my office, literally that is true. Um, of the two other remaining female prosecutors, one single, and I told her she might want to think about dating a deputy because there's a lot of handsome guys over there. So, you know, these days there's people out there saying we need to defund the police and they are entitled to their opinion and I'm entitled to mine. My opinion is those people are morons. We need you. We appreciate you in this county. I can say the men and women of this department are like family to me. I will always have your back. I will always be objective and fair with you. And of course, if someone tries to turn my words against me there, I'll say, although you're family, I'm going to hold you accountable. Just like I'm held accountable for my actions and my words and my Facebook post, we are all accountable <laughs> for what we do. But what I do know is your job is the toughest job on the planet. And I have your back 100% and I support you. And Sheriff, I thank you for the fantastic working relationship that your agency and my office have. You've been a true friend and an ally to me and you are truly an inspiration to me because you're slightly older than me and you're still having children. So <laughs> that makes me feel young for sure. So in conclusion, my two minutes, uh, to you, the men and women of the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office, I say thank you for your service. God bless you and be safe out there. Great job. Great job. Wow, it's a pleasure. That's a tough, uh, a very tough uh, <laughs> speech to follow there. Administ administration of the oath, Madam Clark, if you'd come down.
that pen up there. <laughs> Thank you. Pursuant to Article 1, Section 9 of the Maryland Constitution, I hereby give you the constitutional oath to the elected sheriff. Please raise your right hand and search your name after I. I. I, Gary Hoffman. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office. Execute the office. Of Sheriff of Queen Anne's County. Of Sheriff of Queen Anne's County. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. Congratulations. Thank you, Madam you are sworn up. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you all. Before I um before I continue on with part of the program, I wanted to let you know that, that being sheriff of the county is not possible without a great network. And I'm going to talk about that soon of the deputies and staff, the men and women of the Office of the Sheriff. But first I wanna recognize some other staff members that make this possible and make uh, Queen Anne's County such a great place. I wanna thank the speakers that have been up here, but I wanna thank Major Boardman, his wife, Chris Moy, your wife, uh, Lieutenant Meal, your family, Lieutenant Johnston, um, and all the commanders and all the deputies and staff of the Office of the Sheriff that are here. Without that, it wouldn't be possible at all. I wanna thank, um, Commissioner Dumanel for being here. Um, I want to thank Chief Haas for being here as well, our partnerships there. Um, Madam Clerk, State's Attorney Lance Richardson, you're right, it's a, it's a challenging career. And uh, law enforcement has certainly changed. But there's a positive reason to get into law enforcement nowadays, because you all are an example and you do make a difference every single day that you're out there. To our county administrator, county commissioners, former Commissioner Steve Wilson, um, Joe Savori representing the Board of Education, um, Laurie Kimballs with our office for the planning, QAC TV for the work that you've done with this. Um, I'd like to thank the Maryland Natural Resources Police for uh, being here today. Um, and we've got um, the Maryland State Police. I wanna thank Lieutenant Rob Conley for your coverage of the shifts today and uh, Sergeant Blackwell as well, uh, keeping the men and women of the community of Queen Anne's County safe while we, while we do this. I'd like to thank all of our volunteer staff, our auxiliary deputies, uh, and most of all, your friends and your family that are out there in the community. Um, without our friends and family, we could not do this job. It would be impossible without that support network. So I wanna thank you. Um, I see former Captain Babe Wilson from Wacomico County here, uh, and many other dignitaries as well. Um, Kathy Nickdiotis, Greg Whitby, Jackson, thank you all. Uh, my family that's here, I wanna thank all of you, my mom, Steve, um, Nancy, my wife, my sister Connie, Ava, Sasha and Karina, um, Tim. So thank you all very much for, for being here, but thank all of your families as well. But the most important thing that uh, I think out of all this is that the support from your families that they give you when you're gone for long hours of the day uh, and that they support your law enforcement career. We all know we couldn't do this without the support of our families. And thanks to Paul Kurse for getting all this set up. So we're going to put uh, Mary Ann Schwentz up here at the uh, head table here. She will be coming up on the agenda. Uh, you'll be sitting up here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. If I could have um, Queen Anne's County Commissioner Phil Dumanell up, please, for a few remarks.
I brought my own this time, Lance. Um, first of all, I just want to thank the sheriff for the opportunity to speak today. I'm not sure if I was his first choice, but certainly the better looking. Uh, um, I want to start off by congratulating the incoming deputies and thank them for choosing Queen Anne's County to start their law enforcement career. You have an entire sheriff's office that will be there to guide you and help you and ensure your success. Rest assured, we do have your back. In 1963, the motto to serve and protect was adopted by the Los Angeles Police Department. Those four words define our fundamental duties to the citizens of Queen Anne's County. I say ours because it is the duty of the sitting county commissioners to serve the citizens and defend the Constitution as it is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in the business of policing. And it is important that you do it in a manner that will have a positive effect on our community. So much that will attract new police officers and retain existing officers. But most important, do it in a manner that you are deserving the trust of this community. Remember the old adage, you must earn respect before you can receive it. You can best earn the respect by first respecting the rights of others. Police officers must be at the front line of serving our most vulnerable populations with justice, respect, and dignity. It will take courage to do this job, but it will take real courage to protect the persons who spew hatred towards the law enforcement community. This courage that I speak of is not just the physical courage about risking your life for another. It's also the courage to form restraint. I promise that I wouldn't take a lot of time and it really shouldn't uh, go much further than what I have prepared. I've lived here in Queen Anne's County now coming on 22 years. I can assure you that it's the silent majority, and I say that again, the silent majority in this county that respect you and are eternally grateful that you wear that badge proudly every day. The commissioners of Queen Anne's County have always had a great working relationship with our sheriff. It is the office of this sheriff and the deputies that serve here that we are really honored. You are revered, you are respected, and most of all, you are appreciated. And know this, that will not change. Once again, on behalf of the county commissioners and the citizens of Queen Anne's County, thank you, thank you, and thank you. I'm going to go ahead and um, read the oath of office, ask if everybody could raise your right hand and insert your name where I insert mine. I, Gary Hoffman. Dwayne Boardman. Chris Moore. Mark Neal. Earl Joss. Lynn Sarah. Moore. Melody Van Sant. Alexis Johnson. Dylan Crown. Stephen Friesen. William Bowen. Dominic Sullivan. Nate Burns. Which we got? Andrew Neal. George Sullivan. Alex Cooper. Stephen Kelly. Shane Russell. Jeremy Davidson. Nicholas Kendall. George Betts. Raheem Johnson. Amy Rhodes. Austin Frazier. John Myers. Walter Bear. Ben Sachs. Larry Slankin. Kent Armager. Roger Brown. Adora Pax. Patrick Masson. James Brother. Ryan Davidson. Christopher Diaper. Matthew Johnson. Sager. Eric Goodman. Daniel Soden. Daryl Kreese. Troy Lauer. Boston Patchett. Boston Cole. Jason Rickard. 
Dennis Wolf. Stephen Gore. John Brock. Nick Means. Preston Lashinsky. Jeffrey Lewis. George Parker. Michael Lyman. Chase Armour. Tyler uh, Archie Bryant. Justin Panacast. Lane Doyle. Joshua Mickle. Joey Miller. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the United States of America. To the United States of America. And to the state of Maryland. And to the state of Maryland. And that I will serve honestly. And I will serve honestly. And faithfully uphold and defend the Constitution. And faithfully uphold and defend the Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution of Maryland. And the Constitution of Maryland. That I will enforce all laws of Queen Anne's County. That I will enforce all laws of Queen Anne's County. And the state of Maryland. And the state of Maryland. And that I will obey the orders of the sheriff. And I will obey the orders of the sheriff. And my superior officers. And my superior officers. According to the rules and regulations. According to the rules and regulations. Of the office of the sheriff. Of the office of the sheriff. Queen Anne's County. Queen Anne's County. And the state of Maryland. And the state of Maryland. I pledge to respect every human life. I pledge to respect every human life. And act with compassion towards and others. And act with compassion towards others. Congratulations. to um, also take the oath of office from Catherine Hager as well. So you may wonder why you get two oath of office <laughs> here tonight. This comes pursuant to the Maryland Annotated Code of the Courts of Judicial Proceedings and Section 2104B, which states that every deputy shall take and subscribe to the following oath, which I will recite to you in a few minutes. This oath has many words that we, may, that we do not use in our regular language today. However, it is still in law to take this prescribed oath, and it cannot be modified as a matter of law. In fact, about 20 years ago, a clerk from another jurisdiction asked the Attorney General's office, who is the clerk's counsel to the clerks, if the oath that the clerk provided to the deputies could be modified. And the response was no. As the code sets out, this oath must be taken for a deputy to be a sworn deputy and taken by the clerk before the clerk of court. Therefore, you will hear words such as for lucre or malice, lucre meaning having a meaning of money, especially with regards as being gained in a dishonorable way, or malice, which is the intention or desire to do evil or ill will. So after I provide you this oath, um, you'll be signing the test book, but we're going to do that at the end when you're um, walking out of the room this evening, because that will take up a lot of time. <laughs> so if you could please your, raise your right hand and insert your name after I, and repeat after me. I, I do swear. Do swear. That I will not for lucre or malice, I not for lucre or malice delay, any person delay any person applying to me, apply to me for, any business for any business belonging to the office I officiate in, belonging to the office I officiate in and that I will not directly, and I will not directly or indirectly, or indirectly ask, ask, take, take Take, exact, exact, demand, demand, or receive from, or receive from, or charge to any such person, or charge to any such person, to my own use, to my own use, any fee or reward, any fee or reward, whatsoever, whatsoever, for any services I may do, 
for any services I may do. As deputy of said office. As deputy of said office. And that in making out the office fees. And that in making out the office fees. I will not wittingly or willingly. I will not wittingly or willingly. Charge other or higher fees. Charge other or higher fees. Than are allowed by law. Than are allowed by law. Congratulations, you are sworn deputies. <laughs> If I could have, um, if you want to call her by to uh, at ease, sir. Detail, at ease. And uncover is fine. We'll uncover as well. Uncover. Yes, sir. Detail, uncover. Thank you, Lieutenant. If I could have the Honorable Scotty McRashen come up, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome. For those that may not know me, uh, probably there's not many that don't know me, Scott McGlashan, uh, former clerk of the circuit court for Queen Anne's County. Uh, may I please the court? God, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> Carrie said talk a little, about a little bit of history about the courthouse. It's a lot of history that can be said about this courthouse, and but I don't have enough time, so I'm going to stick to your two minutes uh, there. But, um, but I quickly do want to say I've, I've enjoyed some good times in this room, and I've enjoyed some sad times in this room. But the, the thing, and I want to echo what, what Lance said. It's always the teamwork. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here a bit. But I can't help but think, looking out across all these deputies, young deputies, um, that the teamwork, the clerk's office, the state's attorney's office, the Maryland State Police, Department of Natural Resources, uh, emergency services, the county commissioners uh, make that possible and help as far as administering for Queen Anne's County. It's the secret of Queen Anne's County, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's what we're all about. But I'm kind of going off here a bit. Um, However, this evening, I really especially want to address through QAC TV, and, I, and it's a great, Queens County Television is great because it links us with the people. And that's what's great about the Sheriff's Office, the Clerk's Office, the County Commissioner's Office, the Orphan's Court. You folks are the closest to the people that we have, and that's what it's what politics is all about. It's what good government's all about. It's what democracy is all about. Um, but, I, but I want to address to, to, to the citizens of Queen Anne's County through QAC TV. Um, I would simply like to remind us, each of us, how fortunate we are to live in Queen Anne's County. Queen Anne's County, God's country. God's country. I sadly admit, my wife and I sit in the morning and in the evenings, I'm sure that your families do, and watch the news. Not very encouraging, is it? But I'll tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the case in Queen Anne's County. It is not the case in Queen Anne's County. But I have to stop and remind myself that it's the county, it's Queen Anne's County. And we had better be very, very careful and preserve that. We, we see what happens in other jurisdictions in the state of Maryland. We see what happens in jurisdictions across the, the United States, mostly in the larger cities type thing. But, and as was mentioned earlier, the disrespect for law enforcement. I cannot understand that. I cannot fathom that. I cannot accept that. And it's not accepted in Queen Anne's County. And I'd like to speak on behalf of the citizens of Queen Anne's County. They don't accept it either. And they do appreciate what you ladies and gentlemen do. Why are we so fortunate? I think each and every one of us have a great deal of gratitude to you, the deputies of Queen Anne's County. Um, you're a team. And on behalf of the citizens of Queen Anne's County, I'd like to thank you 
And I want to speak for the 50,000 citizens of Queen Anne's County. We thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And one of my favorite TV shows with Hill Street Blues now, some of you may not remember that show, but Phil Esterhauser used to be the, the uh, sergeant at the end there at, at roll call. And I'm sure, Sheriff, you probably have roll call. And the, one, the last thing he would say when, when they were going leaving roll call, be careful out there. Be careful out there because we need you and we, we love you. Over the years, when I was clerk, Gary and I used to have, we'd meet each other and we'd shake hands and say, we love our job. I loved my job. I know Catherine does and Lance does and the commissioners do. It's why they do it. And, uh, and I know Gary does. And Gary, I appreciate what you do as sheriff. As you begin your fifth term, I, th I, think, that, I think that says a lot to the citizens of Queen Anne's County. Like Catherine and I learned a long time ago, Chief Judge Bell and, and Chief Judge Barbera, all the, the, the judges of the new Supreme Court of Maryland, and, and Judge, Chief Judge Fader, public trust and confidence. When we, Gary said, Let's talk about history. Well, there's so much history could be talked about about this building. Out front, notice the eagle, the impediment of the building. Governor, the Honorable the Governor Bobby Ehrlich was here. Lance was here, Gary was here, and we, we dedicated that eagle because it's a symbol of the great United States of America and freedom. The, the news is unhappy when we turn the TV on, but uh, one thing I might mention here, we have Queen Anne, the portrait of Queen Anne here. Over on the wall, we have the portraits of the former judges. One judge, the lightest picture on the top, about in the middle, is Judge Carmichael. Now, most of you know we have the little community of Carmichael. That was named after Judge Carmichael, who presided on this bench and in this circuit during the Civil War. The Great Divide, the North against the South, brother against brother. But we survived that, and ladies and gentlemen, we will survive what's going on in Washington today. I am, I am convinced of that. Um, but in closing, again, I want to address on behalf of the, the public, you, the, the deputies of Queen Anne's County, you are the face of law enforcement. You are the face when the citizens need help, or you are the face when you need to do your job. And uh, we appreciate that. We do. Um, I want to mention Steve Wilson, talking about a little bit of history, what's going on here. Modern day, future things. This building, on behalf of the county commissioners, thank you, Commissioner Dominell and Commissioner Wilson, this building is going to be repurposed. You see, the outside looks beautiful. But now we're going to have the register of wills, the orphan's court. We're going to be moving back into this building. Thank you, county commissioners, for doing that. Oldest courthouse still on continuous use in the state of Maryland. And also, Mr. Scott Haas is here, emergency services. God, what, what, what improvements as far as emergency services? I think Steve and I were talking about uh, trying to go for four to five minute response time. Uh, that's, that's unheard of. I'm old enough to remember when you had to wait and a lot of fire companies didn't have ambulances or there was no ambulance in Queen Anne's County. That's not the case today. So thank you, Scott. Thank you, commissioners, for making that possible. That being said, thank you, Sheriff, and, and I want to wish everybody a happy holiday season. Thank you very much. If I could have um, Marianne Schwentz come up for a few minutes. Very, um, hi there. How are you doing? All of you are very familiar with our training room and the dedication in our training room to uh, Jason Schwentz. And I uh, asked Marianne to come up and talk to all of you about some things. And uh, one of the things that I made a promise to the Schwentz family uh, when Sheriff Crosley was there as well was that we'll always remember 
our fallen brothers and sisters uh, here in Queen Anne's County. We will never forget them. And that promise will go on as long as I'm here and I hope that sometime one of you is the next commander and I'll make sure that that, uh, that face in that patrol training room or that training room lives on forever. Can't, you can't make me cry before I'm gonna speak. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Sheriff Hoffman. My name is Mary Ann Schwenz. Um, it's indeed a privilege and an honor to stand here before all of you today. First and foremost, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your service and sacrifice as you commit to undertaking this strenuous but noble path of law enforcement. To get where you are today, you've all been pushed both mentally and physically, and you've been challenged to the brink of your limits. You've discovered your purpose and are ready to continue to make the lives of others better. You have each achieved what is considered success. But there's more to a career in law enforcement than just your own success. This is only the beginning. John Maxwell reminds us in the law of significance that one is too small a number to achieve greatness. Success is when you add value to yourself, but significance is when you add value to others. In this profession, it's no longer about your timeline, it's about their timeline. The community will call on you to enforce the law, prevent crime, provide emergency response, provide support services, and if I know Sheriff Hoffman correctly, you'll be required to be present at community building events. As you move forward in your careers, be intentional in the execution of these duties. Your work may seem thankless at times, but keep in mind that you're appreciated and very much needed. Together and individually, you are significant. Remember to take care of yourselves, your families, and your brothers and sisters in blue. Lean on each other when you need to, and always work together. You are indeed a team, the thin blue line. I have the utmost faith in all of you, and I believe that you will work hard to make this community a better and safer place, and that you will be shining examples of professionalism. The citizens of Queen Anne's County are counting on you. Sincerest congratulations to each and every one of you from the Schwenz family. Be safe out there, and God bless you all. If I could have Major Boardman come up for a presentation, please. Yep, real, real quick, we wanted to recognize our newest deputies who just graduated last week. Uh, okay. Thank you, sir. Um, we wanted to recognize the newest deputy that graduated last week that uh, joined our ranks, and that's Deputy Nick Kendall. And I was honored to be able to swear him in at that ceremony also with his father, who used to be uh, a deputy with us also. So welcome aboard. Um, we also have a promotion to announce. It's a, a, it happened uh, a little while ago, but Corporal Savannah Dickey Faggart, who is with us today. Um, yes, yep. Congratulations, she is our, uh, one of our newest corporals uh, and first line supervisors at the office of the sheriff. And then also promoted to deputy first class, we have Alexis Johnston here with us, right here in the front row, so congratulations. Um, in the academy, we have three new uh, deputy recruits. We have two academies going, uh, actually. One is in Anne Arundel County, and we have Eric Lawler there, and Patrick Williams. And then beginning uh, in less than two weeks, we have Kevin Trader who came to us from Corrections and he's going to be going to the Warwick Academy in Salisbury. So I wanna welcome all of them. If you see the, ever see them, please welcome them to our county. Thank you, sir. If I could real quick, if I could have all the staff of the Office of the Sheriff, please stand, civilian staff, auxiliaries, um, Sworn staff as well, volunteers. I wanted to, on behalf of the citizens of Queen Anne's County, thank all of you for the service that you provide. Without you, no matter what the position is that you hold within the organization, you all are a critical and vital element to the success of our office and the success 
of our crime prevention as well as our community policing efforts. And you all are the cogs of the wheel that keep this place going. So I promised I would keep my speech under 30 seconds. So I'm going to ask if I could have um, Pastor Amor Woolsey please come up, please, for the benediction. Well, good evening. I invite you to be in an attitude of prayer and receive the blessing and the benediction. Heavenly Father, you taught us that, you said to us, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And at this hour, we fervently pray, pray that your Holy Spirit may inspire the men and women of the Queen Anne's County Sheriff Department. Guide them, be their strength and their portion. Give them wisdom and endurance to continue the service that you have called them to do. May their selfless act of service be an inspiration to all of us and to all the members of our communities. So brothers and sisters, now go with the wind at your back and the sun on your face, with a song in your heart and the promise of grace. Go in peace and in truth, and may love lead your way. Go with God. Amen. 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 Before you ask, thank you so much. Thank you. Sasha, did you want to say something? She wanted to speak, and she asked me five times if she could say thank you to all of you. And uh, she has a lot of respect for all of you, and she appreciates the work that everyone in the office does. Do you want to say it now? Now we're shy. <laughs> Lieutenant Meal, sir, it's all yours. Detail. Dismissed. Please feel free to go over to Goodwill Firehouse. Um, there is plenty of uh, food and stuff over there. Um, so please enjoy that. And I just thank all of you. I'm very proud of every one of you.